well. The first thing is that this is very much a 21st century regulation. So a, um, a significant acknowledgement that things should be available on websites. And, and I think that's probably um, also an acknowledgement that there's a lot of detail required in a lot of this. Um, and so having a, a, an ability to be able to disclose it on a website and having an ability to be able to keep a lot of these disclosures very live, which a website lends itself to in a way that maybe a paper document doesn't, uh, means that there's, there's a lot of emphasis on what needs to appear um, on the website. And, and really, I guess there's the sort of three principal policies we need to concern ourselves with. There is the sustainability risk um, policy, essentially, so the extent to which sustainability risks are integrated into the investment process. There is the principal adverse impact policy or, or the degree to which the principal adverse impact um, of investment decisions um, applies to the financial product. And then there is the remuneration uh, policy. Um, and each of those three policies essentially have to be disclosed on the financial market participants website. Mm -hmm.